All right. So welcome everyone to this Seated Lymphatic Flow, this free event brought to you by Lymphedema United and Balance with Babs. So we're really excited for all of you who are here and for those of you who are watching the recording. So just a quick introduction before we begin, because some of you might know Matt, some of you might know me, some of you might not know either one of us. So we wanted to spread awareness of both of our stories and of all the free resources and all of the valuable information that we really want to get out to you. So I'll begin and then I'll let Matt talk about himself a little bit. So on this page right here, you will get a copy of, and you can also screenshot it if you'd like, or take a picture, but this is our email, our website, and all of our social medias. So my name is Babs. I'm an occupational therapist, a lymphedema therapist, and a yoga teacher. So my inspiration is my mom here in this picture. She, when I was in middle school, was diagnosed with breast cancer and unfortunately developed lymphedema. So she went through therapy and wasn't really getting better. So that sparked my interest of becoming a lymphedema therapist. And so I took care of her when I was at home. But then I, when I moved to Boston, which is where I'm at now, I needed a way to continue to support her and help her. So I created a link with free resources. And also I teach lymphatic yoga both floor and chair yoga. So all of my free resources for manual lymphatic drainage, compression garments, all of that is on my website here, balancewithbabs.com. And you can also sign up for my programs there. So as I was doing this program, I was, I'm constantly looking for new information for my patients. And that's where I came across Matt's website, Lymphedema United. So I messaged Matt and instantly just loved him. He was a really, wonderful person to talk to and has a quite impressive um, list of resources and also has a book and so I that's why we collaborated together today for this presentation to really benefit all of you to share our resources so I'd like Matt to talk a little bit about himself he has a direct connection with lymphedema and I'd like him to tell a little bit of his story. So Matt, I'll let you take it away. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Babs. And um, thank you so much for a lovely introduction. It's been a pleasure working with you and up until now and, and beyond. And uh, it's a great opportunity for us to work together uh, across the pond, as they say. And uh, a bit of background of, about me. Uh, I was diagnosed with lymphedema in 2011 um, as a result of um, cellulitis, which is I hope none of you have had, but for those that, that have, it's a, it's a horrendous infection. Um, in my case, the left leg, um, and I left hospital two weeks later with lymphedema, with very, very little information, support, advice on where to go for help. So um, after, I suppose, 10 years of having it and collating a lot of information, um, and uh, resources, I thought what well, better way to mark my 10th anniversary with lymphedema than to write a book and share with you uh, all of my personal experiences, both physically and mentally, uh, of having lymphedema. And also, thankfully, uh, I was joined with over 20 medical, professionalists, uh, medical professionals that specialize in lymphedema uh, that write alongside me in the book. So that's trusted information and guidance from them in addition to personal experience of living with lymphedema and my tips and solutions for how to live it uh, hopefully a little better. So the book title says it all really, how to live better with lymphedema, meet the experts, available on Amazon as it would always be, uh, or via my website. Uh, and I'm pleased to say 25% of the pro profits from the book will be donated to the Lymphedema Research Fund in the hope to try and find a cure. So that's the book. Uh, alongside that, um, it was natural to have a website and the purpose of the website, uh, in essence, it, it's everything that I would want to know, everything I would want to find all in one place uh, to make the research, especially when you're newly diagnosed, as easy as, per as possible and as less stressful as we can possibly make it. So a lot of the uh, medical professionals that are in the book are on the website, so you know who to go and find help from. 
there are the organizations um, that, that help, including the Lymphedema Support Network, the BLS and LEARN in the, in the States, and suppliers, product suppliers, not just the typical lymphedema compression suppliers that I'm sure we're all familiar with, but lifestyle companies that actually have products and services uh, that improve our quality of life. So it's a one-stop shopping center is what I was trying to create for people with lymphedema. It's free to join as a member. So please do that, uh, write down the, the, the link there, but I, I heard earlier Babs will be sending it to you anyway. Lymphedema United, and that's the UK spelling with the O. Uh, um, and there are exclusive benefits to members, including a bespoke discount code that you can use on all online purchases from the suppliers. Uh, quarterly newsletters and also special offers um, along the way and a lot of stories that I share about my journey not just in the past but also going forward as well and as with the um, the book 25% of profits are donated to our selected uh, lymphedema charities so all of that hopefully achieves my three ob objectives which is to help other people with lymphedema raise awareness especially to get men talking um, give to charity as well um, and just to take that to the next project in June of this year in the UK I'm hosting a, a charity golf day with a hundred percent of the profits going to the lymphedema research fund so if you're in the UK or if you know people in the UK who either have lymphedema or have a loved one with lymphedema please let them know if they're golfers come along and support the day hopefully the sun will shine but there's lots of activities be a cracking day to, to meet other people in the same situation as us and uh, connect with the suppliers as well. A lot of the suppliers will be there supporting the day. So all my contact details are there, as with the social media links. Can't wait to connect or, should I say, unite with you. And now, without further ado, the main event, ladies and gentlemen, I'll pass you back to the wonderful Babs and um, I'm just going to get my yoga mat out. So have fun, enjoy, over to you Babs. Thank you so much and let's begin. So come and have a seat, a comfortable seat in a chair, edge of bed, edge of couch, wherever you might sit and let's begin. Inch your way towards the edge of your chair, or edge of your seat. That way you can already start to cultivate a nice, strong, tall spine. Opening up the chest here a little bit, just first pose here. Sitting comfortably, but in a strong and confident way. If you haven't already, let the eyes just melt down and then notice with your eyes closed if you can start to relax your shoulders a little bit more. Maybe open up the jaw for a moment. Just wiggle the jaw side to side and see if that releases any tension in the face. Notice if the eyebrows or the mind seems to be a little bit tight. Just see if you can exhale and imagine your body just melting the tension off of it. And then I'll give you a chance to just notice how you're breathing right now in this moment. Is your breathing slow? or fast. Is it deep or shallow? Maybe this is the first time all day that you've stopped and taken a moment for yourself to listen to your body, listen to your mind, and focus on your breath. No matter how much or how little you do in this practice, know that by the end of this session, you'll feel better and you'll continue to really experience the benefits of connecting to your body. 
So let's start with a calming breath. So we'll inhale through our nose for a count of three. And then exhale through the mouth for a count of five. Slowly, one, two, three. Exhale slowly, one, two, three, four, five. Notice how this is changing your awareness of where you are. Focus right now is just breathing in and out. And then we'll take our one hand to the heart, one hand to the stomach. We'll set an intention for this practice to improve our lymphatic flow. And whatever that means to you, you might come today with upper body, lower body, whatever it is, lymphedema, chest, breast, abdominal. So let's all gather an intention for just promoting health and well-being ourselves and by building this community that we have today. Take a breath in together. Exhale, sigh it out. Another breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. And then both hands to our lower abdomen. We're going to begin by stimulating the most valued part of our lymphatic system. So the most area of lymph nodes is right here in our abdominal region, in our abdomen. So we want to stimulate these nodes to help to flush and filtrate the fluid throughout the body. So to do this, we're going to take breaths in each quadrant of the abdomen. So you have a large cluster of lymph nodes right underneath the ribs, and then you have a large cluster near your inguinal groin area. So let's start by placing hand on top of hand right underneath the right ribs. Take a breath in and give yourself a little bit of pressure and then exhale, release the pressure, release the hands. Inhale, slowly push your belly into the hands and then exhale, release. And then come over to the left bottom of the ribs, left upper quadrant, breath in and out, breath in, and out, and then right inguinal area, so the pinky, the small finger will kind of nuzzle right into the inside of the hip bone, hand on top of the hand, inhale, push your stomach into the hands, breath in, exhale, let it go, Breath in, exhale, let it go. Two more breaths, last quadrant, left inguinal area, hand on top of hand, breath in, push the abdomen into the hands, exhale, let it release, and again, breath in, and let it go. And then both hands, spread the fingers wide, really cover a large amount of surface area. Breath in as you push your belly into the hands. And then exhale, let it go. Once more, breath in, really find the pressure between hands and abdomen. And exhale, let it go. And then drop your arms, just shake the arms out a little bit, maybe smile, shake the head a little bit, just loosen up a little. And then inhale, let's sweep our arms up towards the sky if you can. And then exhale, draw the hands down to heart center. Four more like that. Breath in as you lift and rise. 
exhale as you contract, drawing it all back into heart center. So throughout this practice, we'll be encouraging that diaphragmatic breathing. So what that does is helps to stimulate the limb flow by squeezing that major thoracic duct down the center of our body. Inhale, take one more lift up, stretch up, stay here for a moment this time. And then exhale, bring hands all the way down to heart center, hands to the knees or thighs, and then widen the feet so that they're hip distance apart. Hands comfortably rested right on the thighs. And just give yourself a little bit of a tap on the thighs, maybe inside of the thighs, outside, just waking up your body. Maybe it's early morning for some of you. Maybe it's late afternoon and you need a little awakening or maybe you need a little calming. So let this be kind of what you need it to be. And then press the hands into the thighs, push down as you root your chest open. So already really finding that nice open chest posture. So the largest area of the lymph nodes is the abdomen. The second largest area is this chest area. So if we find a lot of chest expansion throughout the day, we're helping to promote the drainage back into the large ducts here that goes back into the heart. So we'll begin some seated cat and cow. So on your next inhale, drop your chin and your chest forward, draw the shoulder blades back, and then as you exhale, bring the chin down in towards the chest and round through the spine. So you're rocking forward and back on your pelvis here. So this is helping to promote the strength of your pelvic floor. So really try to puff the front body forward as you dive yourself forward. And then exhale, really try to contract, draw everything in. Maybe the hands extend as a little extra. Let's take five more at your own pace. So inhale, drawing chest through the arms and then exhaling, rounding through. This is really helpful to improve core strength by contracting on the exhale. Gets the spine to move in each direction. If you sit for a long period during the day, this is a really good one to do at your desk just to help your body to move, to awaken. Let's take two more like this. Inhale forward, exhale back. Last one here. Inhale forward, exhale back. And then come back up to center. Let's take our shoulders up and back. So inhale as you draw the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, rolling it back and down your spine. So if you have upper body lymphedema, improving the shoulder range of motion really helps to promote that muscle action. So the more muscle contraction you have, the more that fluid is going to enter into where it needs to go so back into the heart now this time let's open up our arms like you're swimming the arms so breath in shoulders come up breath out shoulders arms come down so just loosening up the front body maybe you do a little bit of swaying here close your eyes don't worry nobody's watching you nobody's looking at you and truthfully nobody really cares so you do you be your authentic self and just move what feels good. And then come back to center, hands to the thighs for another little abdominal sequence. So we're gonna draw our body over one thigh, center the other thigh and back and around. So you can make these circles as large and as engaging as you'd like, or you can just do little circles and just be happy with the subtle movement. So. Again, freedom of movement. All I ask of you is just to continue your breath. So breathe in as you come forward. Exhale, rounding as you come back. Soften your face here and just acknowledge, be 
thankful that you're doing something so good for your health and well-being. And then come on back, go in the opposite direction. So you're gonna now take those circles in the opposite way. Listen to your breath come in and out. And then back up to center, close the eyes, pause for a moment, take a breath in and let it go. And then we can blink open our eyes. I'd like to teach you all a very fun breathing exercise that I use a lot to calm nerves and help to de-stress. So let's inhale, reach our arms up towards the sky. This is called lion's breath. So some of you might already be aware of it. So take a big breath in through the nose. On the exhale, you're gonna stick out your tongue like you were roaring like a lion and drop the hands down behind you. Inhale, lift up, breath in through the nose. Exhale, stick out the tongue, let it all go. I know it's weird, I know it looks funky, but just do it, it helps. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more, breath in, reach up. Exhale. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale. Wonderful, come back to center. Close the eyes. And then drop the chin down towards the chest, relax the shoulders. Feel the stretch in the back of the neck. And then we'll take gentle neck circles, loosening up through those infra and supraclavicular nodes. So the nodes that are right near the neck. So gentle neck stretching really helps to improve the movement of the fluid in this area. So all yoga is helpful for the lymphatic system. So the lymphatic yoga that I teach, we really focus on stimulating the nodes in the lymphatic system before we engage in our practice. But know if you're doing any yoga, you're doing something great for your body and your mind and your lymphatic system. And then reverse the neck circles when you're ready. Maybe notice if the face started to have any tension, just let it melt and relax. And then back up to center, one more little moment to open up our chest, hands to the shoulders. And then we're gonna draw our elbows forward, up and back. So imagine you're drawing big circles with the elbows. Really good chest expansion. If any of you are into chakras or energy work, this is opening up our heart chakra, our area of love to ourselves and to others. So anytime you're feeling a little closed off or anxious, just open up your chest, move this area, let it be expansive and you'll feel better, I promise. Hands come back to the lap for a little trunk rotation. So draw one hand forward as you bring the other hand back. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale to twist, looking over the other shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Just a few more times like this. So between the deep breath, deep diaphragmatic breath, and the rinsing out by twisting, you're helping to improve that stuck energy, stuck fluid, that bloating and fluid in the abdomen. You're also helping to get your body a little bit more open, and with more openness, more relaxation allows the flow to improve. Take one more time each side. And then back to center, good. Take a moment to pause, check in with your body, see how you're doing. And then if you're able to, let's open up our legs wide. 
We're going to engage in a seated sun salutation. So a little bit of a movement flow to encourage a little bit of heat in the body. And then we're going to engage in a little bit more of an elongation practice, stretching the muscles, and then we'll calm things down with the meditation at the end. So stay with me and enjoy. So inhale, let's reach our arms up, stretch up. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. So what does that mean to you? Maybe hands to the thighs as the head just gently falls, or maybe you bring your hands all the way down, letting the crown of the head melt. Take a breath in here and exhale. Your next breath in, creating a flat back. So hands to the thighs, creating a flat back or fingertips to the ground. And then exhale, we're gonna fold down and then push through the feet, root down through the feet as you lift and rise the arms all the way up and then hands come down to heart center. So that is our modified sun salutation. So we'll do it four more times so you can stay with me or go at your own pace. So let's inhale, reach our arms up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Push through the feet. Inhale to rise all the way up. And then hands come down to heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slow exhale, melt to all the way down. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down, push through the feet, lift up, rise up. Exhale, contract down through heart center. Two more, inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Reach up, lift up, rise up, feel the side body expanding. Hands come down to heart center. One more, inhale, lift, rise, maybe the gaze comes up. Exhale as you come all the way down. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, rise up, lift up, stretch up. Hands come down to heart center. Push the palms into one another as you spread the elbows wide. Feel the strength in the arms. Check in with the heart rate. Check in with your mind, your body. And then we'll draw those arms forward, fingertips facing forward. And then we'll inhale to spread the arms like wings, open up as much as possible. And then exhale, you're gonna curl in, giving yourself a gentle hug as you contract in. This time, inhale as you open up, come on onto the toes so you lift the heels up. And then exhale as you come everything in, draw the heels back down. Inhale, opening wide, spreading the chest, lifting. Exhale, coming down. Three more. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hugging in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. One more. Inhale, everything opens, lifts. Exhale, everything contracts, grounds, and plants. And then placing the hands down into your lap, we're gonna draw our right knee into our chest. If you're not able to lift it here, you could always take a dish towel to hold on to, but try to hug that right knee in, and we'll start to roll the right ankle a bit. Just finding some slow movement through the ankle. When you draw that right thigh into the right side of your abdomen, your helping to massage your ascending colon. So always start with that right leg coming in first, and then the left leg will help the descending colon. So helping your digestion help to move some of that stuck fluid, stuck energy in the core. And then your next inhale, start to straighten that leg out as much as you can. Interlace the hands behind the thigh, 
And if this is too much, keep a bend in the knee. That's totally fine. See if you can draw the chest open. Point the toes back towards your face. And then inhale, point the toes forward. Exhale, bring the toes back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. And then if you have the leg lifted here, let's see if you can lift the arms, stay here. Feel the strength building in that right leg. Inhale, breath in. Exhale, let it all go and relax. Beautiful. Let's bring the left knee into chest, hugging this thigh in. So the more you can pull that thigh in, the more you're going to find that compression in the inguinal lymph node area and in that descending colon. So let's roll that left ankle around. Try not to lean too much into the low back, but really sit up tall. So the subtleness of your practice, so the more you can really engage the muscles that help you, will just help your overall way you move throughout the day, the way you sit in the car, the way you sit at work, the way you sleep. So yoga is just a way to help to promote awareness of the muscles in the body in relation to the joints and also how your mind is. Now let's start to extend that left leg forward, interlacing behind the leg. Maybe find a little roll of the ankle. And if it's too much to keep it straight, feel free to bend the knee, that's fine. Inhale, point the toes forward. Exhale, bring the toes back. Inhale, point. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, point, exhale, and then inhale, keep that leg nice and strong, use the core, use that, that thigh, and inhale, lift the arms up, breath in, and out, stay here, breath in, and melt it on down, great, let's open up our legs wide, toes pointing out for our seated side angle. So helping to elongate and stretch the side of the body. So let's inhale, sweep our arms forward and up. Exhale, start to create cactus arms or goal posts. Draw the elbows back as the chest lifts. Calm the mind, just breathe here. Breath in to expand. And then exhale, bringing that right forearm to the right thigh. Take a look at those left fingertips. Place the palm up towards the sky as you lift that left arm up and over. So feel the expansion in the side ribs, the hip. And then start to use that right forearm against the thigh to push yourself up in a way so that you're not hanging too much down. So really find the engagement, the lift in now both sides of the body. Take three more breaths here, maybe swiveling your heart up towards the sky. Breath in and out. Breath in and out. And then slowly coming forward. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Cactus the arms again. Now this time, as a little bit of a transition, let's inhale, reach the arms up, and then making fists to draw them down into the side ribs. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, contract the hands, contract the core, bring everything down. Beautiful, inhale, lift. Exhale, two more. Inhale, give it your all. Exhale, last one here. And then left forearm comes down to left thigh. Take a look at that right palm like you're holding on to something you love and deserve. And then reach it up over side angle. Same cues exist, so draw your chest away from that left thigh. Open up looking past that right armpit. Three breaths at your own pace. Notice where you feel the stretch happening. Good. 
One more breath in and out. And then your next breath in brings you back up. Exhale, roll the wrists all the way down. Good, and then heel, toe. So bring the heel in, the toe in, heel in, toe in, all the way back to a seated position. And we'll take one last pose here. We'll take a spinal twist and then we'll engage in a little gratitude meditation. So let's inhale, sweep our arms up. We're gonna twist to the right to begin. So twisting towards the right, left hand comes to right thigh, right hand comes to the chair behind you. And you sit up nice and tall. Imagine someone's pulling the top of your head up and on the exhale, you're twisting. Take three slow breaths here. One more breath in and out. And then coming back to center, let's inhale, reach our arms up. And we'll twist to the other side. Again, three breaths here. See if on the inhale you can find the length in the spine, and then the exhale you can release, twist a little bit more. And then back to center, lifting the arms up. Hands come back into heart center, thumbs to our sternum. Take a moment here just to notice how you feel. And then I'll invite you to get comfortable. So whatever that means for you. So if you wanna inch back in your chair, maybe grab a little blanket to put over you just for a few moments as we complete our class together. And you can really allow all the benefits of your practice to dive deep into your body. So let your back be supported. Let your feet feel grounded. The hands can be in whatever position feels best. And then just let your shoulders melt away from your ears.
wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Coming back into this space.